Moving on. Night two. WrestleMania Sunday. The second biggest night of the of, of the whatever. I don't have nothing. No, nah, it's the biggest about. night. It's the biggest, the biggest night. night. The biggest night of the of the weekend. We've got the ladies tag team <laughs> showcase. <laughs> I know I did all of that. We got we got Liv and Raquel, That's what you're start with. Natty and Shotzi, Ronda and Shayna, Sonya and Chelsea. I mean, you know who's gonna win this? Yeah, you know who's gonna win this? I think we all know Ronda and Shayna going over. But I think the thing is about that is uh, when you think about it, the only other thing I was thinking would they let the the Karen? Did they let Team Karen win? No. <laughs> you know, uh, but no, you know, it's not. I think I think it's obvious. Like you said, arm bars. Chokes, whatever else the they're going to do. The only people that's an actual gonna, tag they're gonna, team. They're gonna, exactly. The one that actually is a team is probably going to win this match. And, yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it. Their heels, you starting off right? All right. Right, right. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. So, again, this is another one where it's like uh, I can see it going either way, you know, especially it, even with the report. Like I said, whether you believe the report that Brock was telling people buy it because this might be his last one for a while or whatever, or he's done, even if you believe that or if you don't believe it, you know, I, I can see it doesn't really, that doesn't tell me anything. Because if it's his last one, Brock can go out on top. If it's his last one, Brock can lose and look fine. Like, again, Brock is untouchable. Nothing bad is going to happen for Brock, whether he lose or win this match. But I think, again, it's more so what we were saying about theory. What does that say about, you know, your new your new unstoppable monster? Again, it doesn't hurt him that much because it's Brock's freaking Lesnar. Like, mm-hmm. it's fine. But at the same time, I just think it would do so much more for Omos if he win. Mm-hmm. And so I think, I think I'm going with Omos. I don't, you know. Let's ride with it. I'm going with Omos. All right, heel number two. That's who I picked, and I think, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just shooting in the dark here. Um, Bobby Lashley got to come hit this man in the crotch. Uh you, you, you can't just let this man <laughs> hit you in the, in the junk, and then you just ignore him. Like Bobby, you ain't doing nothing. Come run down there, hit him in the junk. MVP been, been talking to you behind scenes anyway. Just, just come on out here, <laughs> and let's, let's get this sorted out. And I can feel better about that loss. I still, I still have not felt good about that. Oh my goodness! Okay, my next match: <laughs> Edge next versus match. Finn Balor in the Hell in a Cell match. Uh, again, I I can see you can all you made the case Finn Balor can close this off, and you know they they're finally done with Edge. But I, I just even as the demon, and again I know, I mean honestly, the Roman is the only person to beat the demon so far, right? Yes. So uh, maybe uh, that's that's something that make you think about it, make you go harder. But honestly, with Edge adding his name to that list, would it hurt the demon that much? No. Hurt, would it hurt the demon any worse than falling off that that <laughs> turnbuckle imaginarily that time? Would it really hurt him that worse than that? No, it wouldn't. And the only way I feel like we ever gonna be done with this damn feud when it comes to Edge is if Edge wins <laughs> because Edge has lost all of these big matches. And guess what? This feud is still going on. He still hates Judgment Day. So I think it's going vamp he's gonna have to vampire his ass to a hell in a cell victory. Uh and uh the demon will lose oh again. My God. I almost started crying laughing at you. I picked Edge, but it's it was true. It was just because what he said the last time I saw him speak about this was right. Like he ain't got that much time left. <laughs> right, right. He ain't got time to be just losing another match to be in Bella. All right. He already lost the last man standing. What did he come back to it so I can lose to the demon this time? <laughs> no. Why? I uh, it's fair. It. I mean, he can. I, he maybe could. he loved Finn that much. He's just like, I want to put you Bro, over. I didn't already put boy. you over. You got a whole right. faction. You got now. the faction. You got my faction. You took my faction, my music. <laughs> my protege is like, calm down. Calm down. I don't okay. think he needs to win this. That just feels, it just means that Dominic has been a POS for like a year now. Pretty much. And again, Ray left to go to SmackDown so he could avoid seeing his yes. his PO and they, son. And then Dom went to SmackDown. <laughs> like, yo, I could just show up to work let's, Tuesday or oh, oh, Friday. I could just show up to work later in the week. Let's let's not rehash. <laughs> like, yeah, you got plenty of space and opportunity between Monday and Friday. <laughs> right. Gunther, Drew, and Sheamus. Now this match is hard. This is the, the toughest for one. The IC uh, championship. This is the hardest one, man. Ugh. 
Really, really, really tough. I don't know what to do, honestly. Gunther said in his press release that he'll be main eventing WrestleMania next year. And who in the hell is one of us to say that he ain't telling the truth? But uh, if he's supposed to be doing that, he got to lose this belt, I assume. At so, some point. It ain't uh, got to be. It ain't got to be uh, Hell, this mother, yeah, he don't. He don't. He don't. But I think, wait, well, shit, hell. Gunther almost like Roman in the season where I was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Little win. And he just had an IC belt. <laughs> He has three belts. Just go to walk around with all the all these championships, right. just for the hell of it. He's just that great, that dominant. I love Gunther, man. It's hard for me to pick against him. Uh, and then also I'm like, if you ask, it's like, who do you diss here? I want Sheamus to win, but I'm like, but Drew got to get just through to the side for Sheamus to have his grand slam moment or whatever. Drew, Drew's still young. He got time, you know. So I don't know, man. I think. Maybe the best the mo- the best story here is if Sheamus is surprising to win, but I it's just tough. It's tough because either way it go, either way it go, two big foreign well, I'm, they're foreign to me, but two big European <laughs> guys are gonna get disrespected here. Yeah, like two two guys that you like that hit hard. Like all we can describe these people as the same. This match is gonna be sick. They all look they are literally the, the same. Three big guys who hit hard, who just so happen to be European uh, for the Intercontinental Championship. It just fits. It all fits. I understand. That's some good-ass booking, the more I think about it. <laughs> the more I think about it. Uh, I, you see, I'm talking around making a pick because uh-huh. I can't make a pick. I, don't, I still don't Stand know. Stand on it. Stand on it now. I still don't know. Uh, Stand on it. Who you pick? I'm picking Sheamus. You picking Sheamus? Yes. Picking it, again, Sheamus. if I give you my reason, that's this. <sighs> screw it. I think Cody gonna win, so I want Gunther to go whoop Cody ass later down the line. Um, and I don't. He can't really do that with the IC title. They try to keep them pretty separate these days. So Gunther got to get that title off of him. Okay, who do you ask, champ? Austin Theory. Oh dear, he's retaining. That's All right, Seamus. All right, then we go. We go. Okay, Seamus. <laughs> I love Sheamus. I love Drew. He's he's the cat father of my heart. But uh Seamus. I'm going with Seamus. Seamus ain't got much time left. I want to Seamus. Seamus should have won. This is me or paying it back for, for castle. There you go. I'm paying you back for the castle. Drew, you definitely should have won in the castle though. God damn it. See? See, come you on, You got to ignore that. Drew got time. Come on, man. Poor Drew. Everybody else in this Drew, match is over Drew 40. Won this, Drew, won this, Drew won this belt when he was like a fetus in exactly. wrestling. Exactly. So, so I like I, I remember that Drew as Intercontinental Champion. So. Oh, you think this new dark-haired Drew? Uh, oop, never mind. Gunther just old and ugly. <laughs> God. I thought that man was at least 40. That man is 35. Who, Gunther? Yes. Drew is older than Gunther. Yeah. That makes sense. Drew's same age, Seamus, right? Th- no, Drew's 37. A little, no, he's a little younger than Seamus. Just a little Drew's younger. Drew is 37, and Seamus is younger. like 44 or something yeah, like that. a few years younger than Seamus. 45. Damn, he's older than Seamus. That's why I'm like, I mean, Seamus ain't got much time older. left. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I, I'm just thinking about that moment. Like I said, I, it would have been a beautiful moment for Seamus to get crowned uh, back in the castle, so I think it would be a great time to do it now. It's just, again... It's just hard. I honestly, it's, if you pick anybody else, it's just like I can't. How can I argue with you? That's fair. That's fair. And again, there's no, there's no slight to Drew. That's the toughest match on this day. It's, it's no, it is. It really is. I'm sorry, Gunther. I thought you were forty. You are not. Um, I knew he was that old. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Next up, the Raw Women's Championship match. We got Bianca Belair versus Oscar. I'm disappointed in this. I really am. This whole this this feud has really really left me disappointed. I wanted to see flashes of uh, a different side of Oscar, not just a look, not teasing that she would the, the mist or whatever. Just be looking. I, she is crazier. I do like it. I like where they're going slowly but surely. But it just don't feel like a WrestleMania feud so far. It doesn't feel like it, it has not. WrestleMania heat. You know, all those people who were mad about Rhea Ripley not fighting Bianca. Both both feuds, I can make the point that maybe it would have been better if it went the way a lot of the internet marks wanted it to go. Mm-hmm. So you know, I can understand that. But 
Uh, again, it just doesn't feel like a crowning moment for Oscar here in this match with this story. And maybe she could use some type of different tactic, some something, you know. But I, I almost feel like I'm more likely to get what happened to Shinsuke at WrestleMania 34, which is, you know, she she fight her straight up, but don't, but lose, mm-hmm. and then at the end, you know, missed her or you know do something. You know, whatever, uh, you know, attack her viciously or whatever. And again, I, I just wish we would have got more of that going into this yep. instead of what we might get after it. I, it just doesn't feel like a, a crowning achievement. It doesn't feel like something big is going to happen for Oscar here. And I think Bianca will prevail and she will continue her historic run. Uh, because again, as much as I would like to see this go maybe a different route. Just to give us something, that's just to give us a, a villain, uh, in to that seems like a threat to be on. Cause that's the thing and here. Again, this story doesn't have to be over here. This could be the it catalyst probably won't be, that that turns Oscar into the vicious heel that we want yeah. to see her be. Yeah, and it, exactly, it still can go that way. It's just, it's just like again, I wish, I wish that at least for it. Oscar's sake, if she wanted to win, I wish we got more of that Her side. WrestleMania record is true. You know, unless she's going to cheat. Yeah, unless you're just going to tell him she's going to flat out do it in the match. Screw Bianca. And, you know, again, but it's just like, can we guarantee that? No. And Bianca's been so dominant. Every time I bet against Bianca so far in this run, what she do? She go out there and win. So I, I just feel like a fool again if I watch her get another special entrance, have another special moment on Sunday, and then... You know, I picked against her. I, I don't know. I just, I'm going to stick with Bianca. But uh, I, I'm interested to see how, where they're going. Because, again, like you said, this could, this still has potential. But I, I just, again, so far, I think they could have done, uh, they could have they could have added heat to this match in uh, plenty of better ways so far yep. than what they've chosen. I agree. Um, I'm picking Bianca for some of the same reasons. Again, I just don't feel like this is over. They've got, they've got too much development to continue to do for this feud to be over. Um, last, we got Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It's yeah. already time for this, huh? Yep, it's over. It's already time for the big one. You deliberated so long on Drew and Sheamus, <laughs> like... I mean, I did. Breeze. I put. I actually, I think that's been the most time. I think, and deservingly so, because again... I can, I would change my pick again. <laughs> to Gunther? Honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I feel like Drew, because Drew been getting hold so long. It's like maybe Drew, maybe Drew finally gets some kind of bone. Drew in. has had a title, okay. Yeah, but if you remember, he got he had it during the pandemic. No crowd. His mania got hold from a crowd, so he didn't even get to win yeah, it in front did. of a crowd. Yes, yes. It's just. You know, when you when he so, finally got a shot in front of the Welsh people, he get hold by Solo at the end. He pretty, pretty much leaves, pretty much forgets about it. I'm mad that he hasn't tried to take down the he, bloodline. He's he just buying his time. Like he should he, he should be more pissed than anyone because he if Cody wins, Drew was supposed to have that moment before Cody. So again, it's just I don't know. He keeps getting the shaft, so I'm like maybe he need maybe they're gonna just throw him the icy belt. So, you know, or that whatever. That IC title more than just a consolation prize because you couldn't beat I hope Roman. So. I agree. I agree. I agree. That's why I, that's why I, po- I picked James. I'm just saying. We can still have that conversation. That's just how hard we, that we, match we're, is. We're getting off track. This match right here is hard, but it's just only hard because of how they've booked Roman so far. It's like mm-hmm. you can't pick against him at this point. That's how, like, you feel stupid when you pick against him. Yes. Everybody does it. Everyone, because I've, I've, I've not noticed a long time ago, I probably should pick Roman. Yes. And so far, I've been right. <laughs> because, again, <laughs> you know, you, hey, he's, he's been unstoppable. I think everyone knows that at this point. But, again, I'm going with Cody. I think you don't bring him back to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, all the merch sales, all the other stuff that's been going on, the way that they kind of worked the Sami Zayn situation out to where we're here uh, – Right before WrestleMania, and I have, I don't hear a lot of that. I don't hear I don't hear those those whispers. I don't hear that Sami Zayn should be in this main event type. That stuff is gone. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? They so they they expertly handled that, which I haven't heard a lot of credit for, but they handled that. And I think uh, Cody has been awesome in his promos in his matches. Like 
I just if they're not if they if Cody don't get it now, I don't think he ever will get the world title from WWE. Yeah. To me. And I think that's the thing. And that's that's the thing that's kind of getting me. And maybe I'm just maybe I'm looking at this I mean a little bit too dramatic there or something. It's just the appropriate. But it just feels drama. more it just feels like yeah, it just feels like this is the perfect opportunity. This is the main event. You're one on one with Roman, you know what I mean? Uh, you most likely, depending on what happens to the Usos, either the Usos and Solo might not have anything to do with Roman's match Sunday, or when they have something to do, do with the match, you he has options for backup. He does, you know. So again, it's just it just feels like Cody Rhodes will finish his story and will finally become WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and, and I think it'll be a, a I also think it'll be a great moment in wrestling because it signifies that you can be a big deal in AEW and then go to WWE and still be a big deal. I agree. Or you can go, or vice versa. You know what I mean? It's not mm-hmm. just, you know, one WWE it's, guys going to AEW and doing something better. It's, it can be done both obviously. ways. You could possibly build your name in AEW and then come to new come to WWE and still be a big deal. You won't get automatically buried like other stars of the past mm-hmm. when people would cross up. You know, again, who knows? This, this could just be for Cody because I agree with people. A lot of people are saying that in this run, they realized that Cody really was just a WWE guy. Everything about Cody works better in this setting. And I agree. The promos, the music, all of that mm-hmm. stuff. Like, again, if you think about how much TV time he would take up at AEW, he used to get criticized for the storytelling and the way he used to try to do things. Yeah. In AEW, but it, that all that time taken and promos and all that, what is that? What is that perfect for? Monday Night Freaking Raw, three mm-hmm. hours of television. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So again, uh, I understand what people are saying. I just think I don't know. I think we're all hopeful in our hearts that they go ahead and they just pull the trigger. Roman's been undefeated for so long. What, again, if Roman ends up standing tall, what does that? What What do we What do we accomplish here? Right, that's egg on our The bloodline just continues to win, and Ooh. it's just like, what's next? And then you have the problem that you've been having with Roman for a while now. Who is a contender <laughs> other than Seth Rollins? Oh, WrestleMania backlash, you might as well, you might as well say bye. <laughs> right, like, other than Seth Rollins, who is a contender for Roman Reigns? That's it. Like, exactly. it's just self then, because we beat Cody straight up. And then even then, guess what? Cody beat Seth. Exactly. Three times, so it's like, how assist did that make? That that's true. That's true. It don't make no sense. If he self. couldn't beat self, yeah, and he got himself DQ, the logical storytelling thing is he has no chance against Cody. Logically. It probably shouldn't be a blowout, but you know what I mean. Like he's not gonna beat Cody. Logically, if we going off that, but again, who knows? Um, like I don't know, man. Go go ahead. I'm I'm picking Cody because he's been on this as much as I hate the gimmick. He has been on this supernova superhero. Meteoric rise. And you know that's what they want in WWE. Yes, a, like a massive superhero. We've we've loved heel Roman. We've loved the God Complex Roman. Right. But nothing does the WWE soul better than a good old supernova baby. American. Face. You're right. Right. And he got the American color scheme. Like everything is perfect for for so, what they like to put money behind. And then it's in Hollywood. It's it's time for a new era. It's time for a new era. Unfortunately. And it still fits the whole wrestling family, like the whole heritage, whole bloodline thing. Mm-hmm. Like it still fits that Cody winning or not, you know. And then again, I think we also, whether Roman wins or not, we still get to see him spiral. Yes. You know? He going to spiral. Right, you know what I'm saying? And I think if everyone, like if the Usos retain and Roman win, then it's like, so y'all been building up all this anticipation just for them to come together stronger than ever again? That's a, that's a that makes no sense, face. right? It makes no sense. We've seen all these cracks in the foundation. You don't, I don't think they should plant those seeds without us seeing any of that play out. I agree, and we that's that's really the ultimate resolution of the bloodline is for it to dissolve because blood ain't always thicker than water. And then again, it's the one unanswered question we have so far in this feud: What happens when Roman loses? Right, we still like, haven't answered that question because he hasn't lost. Like, but what happened when he is he still the tribal chief? Can he still talk to those grown ass men like they kids if he's not winning? If he's not the champion, that's fair. And we need to see that. We got we got to see all facets of this. Yeah, um, that's how great this story has been. We want to see the fallout in all its glory. Yes, because it's gonna be spectacular. <laughs>